Greetings and salutations. This is your boy D Boom for LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We're back. Um, I'm gonna take a, a quick pause on astrology videos, real quick. I'm gonna finish those up tomorrow. Uh, they'll be out tomorrow night. Uh, probably around like nine o'clock. I'm gonna probably put the rest of the astrology up. So. I'm gonna take this time to dive into Twin Flames and Separation. And I'm probably most likely gonna do Divine Feminine Situation next. Since I didn't do it last week, I'm definitely gonna do it first this week. So, shuffling the cards, this new deck that I got. It's actually the Sun Coast Casino, which is my favorite casino in the world. Why I've been around the world yet. Favorite all time casino of all time, greatest casino of all time. In my personal opinion, it's not, but to me it is. You know what I mean? It has so much sentimental value. The Sun Coast does, even the area where the Sun Coast is around. You know what I'm saying? That was stomping ground. You know what I mean? It's a one cream which place. It's a some high quality condominiums right next to it. It ain't one Queens which place no more. I think it got bought out. It's got a new name and shit. But uh, if you, I don't know, Google where the Sun Coast Casino is, it's those kind of videos right next to that motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's where me go be, you feel me? Like, for real. I'm gonna be up in there. You know what I mean? It's one of my Nine of Cups, one of my dreams come true that I'm trying to make happen. And I just love this casino. So much memories are made here, man. You have no idea. So. <clears throat> Not like Vegas style cards anyway, but anyway, let's get it. Two flames of separation. First card we have is the Nine of Pentacles. This is being right where you need to be to bless somebody, being right where you need to get a blessing, being right where you need to see whatever miracle you need to witness right now, being right in a position to really teach somebody uh, who needs to be taught, or being right in a position to get taught something that you needed. Um, the Knight of Pentacle, which is the grooming card, really represents that. But this is you being in a position to be groomed in a good way. Clarifying that is the Eight of Pentacles. This is the step before the Nine of Pentacles. Really taking a step back. You know what I mean? To really analyze and check your harvest. What's your harvest? The shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, come from bed to sleep on. The house you got, the car you got, um, the job you have, two of wands, the purpose you're doing, three of wands. Uh, your, your divine masculine, your divine feminine, you know what I'm saying? Your union, your demo, four of wands, getting, being one with God, four of wands. Saying, attaining the prize that you always want to attain, four of wands. Then you got five of wands in there, which is outside conflict, or hate, or, you know, life after the honeymoon, life after the union, you know what I mean? Taking a step back to really take account of what you have and what you don't have, you know. But you can't do this often. This is just going back against what you usually do to double check. This is double checking. You know, why are you double checking? <laughs> Who's double checking here? The Ten of Wands. This is putting a passionate end to something. Or putting an end to something you was passionate about. Put an, end, put an end to something you was passionate about. This looks like you took back, you went back to take a look. Somebody went back to take a look at something. You're obviously moving forward, but this little nine to the eight business here, we don't want to go back. If you're going backwards, you're not going the right way. What's the right way? Up. What's up? God's up. That's what's up. Whatever this was, you took a step back to look at. You still had to passionately end it. Bottom line, we got the eight of wands. Communication, communication, communication. Phone call, cell phone call, text message, email, SMS message, smoke signal, beeper. Whatever code you and your twin got to communicate. Or stay in cahoots. Verifying that is the Queen of Cups. This is 
the psychic card. This is intuition at its finest. Trusting your own intuition was that a psychic. You know, doing it well. Queen of Cups is also dreams, visions, signs, synchronicities. You know, you're getting really revealed something from a higher level or from another dimension. Communication about power, communication about dreams, communication about visions, communication about synchronicities will be involved and will be discussed and will be addressed. Now, King of Cups, this is the spirit of discernment. A IE tough love. You know what I mean? Cups. Cups. Moving <laughs> progressively to where you need to be. See, those are kings, queens, knights. Those are divine territories. This goes for the both of you. Two. Communication. It has to happen between you two. One of you are going to give in. One person is going to be the caller. The other person is going to be the sender. This could be, I don't know, by phone or I don't know, in the fourth, fifth dimension. Now, the Queen of Cups, these are powers. I told you in the last message. You need to check out my astrology videos. I've been saying that a lot in there. You got to hone in on your powers. We all have power. I told you, Queen of Cups is the X Men card. We're all X Men. You get what I'm saying? We all got something to bring to the overall psychic collective or Twin Flame collective or whatever collective you're involved in. The next step above pointing in on your powers, perfecting your craft and shit. King of Cups, that's the spirit of discernment. That's tough love. This happens when you elevate to a whole another league. Like I said, it's Terminator 2. John Connor asked the Terminator, why do you kill people the way you do? It's like you really don't have no feelings for him and shit. He's a robot. I'm going to say, man, like, they're already dead. What do you care for? You know, John Connor's mom, Sarah Connor. Sarah Connor. <laughs> she said the same shit. Y'all, you guys are already dead. So, really, you have no faith. That's what she carved into that wooden bench when she was queen of cupping over there and shit, having dreams and visions and foreseeing the future and shit, she burning on the gate, getting blasted from that nuclear blast or something she foreseen. Honestly, she wasn't there to go through that because she honestly had John Connor and that nigga ended up saving the world from the robots and shit, but you know, you know, visions, you know what I mean? <laughs> like the spirit of the sermon, you gotta know once you get past the level of life what matters and what don't. Who's important and who's not? Nobody's above nobody else. However, I told you it's a world full of karmics. Or that, that king, it's a world full of fucking cave for karmics out here. And these motherfuckers are zombies. You gotta treat them like zombies. I told you, zombie apocalypse come. It's best to deal with just the zombies. Stay in your own shit, have it protected, but have it built around surviving zombies. It's easy work. Zombies are fucking predictable. You just can't get caught up. You know what I mean? That's the, that's the only backfire from not living with other human beings. However, it's the zombie apocalypse. Nigga, you can't live with other regular human beings. There are no regular human beings, nigga. They will kill you to get anything they can get from you. Soap ain't shit right now. Ha! <laughs> but it will mean something in the end of the world post-apocalypse or some shit. Money, I mean, money mean everything now, but money ain't gonna mean shit when the world collapses, you know what I'm saying? That's the world. It's only built for whatever the times that's popping. It's like the American dollar or the gold standard. That's another story. Communication, communication, communication is gonna be key. Somebody is gonna talk about the dreams and the visions and the signs and the synchronicities that they have. If you ain't the one picking up the phone, trying to, you know, making that conversation and shit like that, 
then he's going to do it. He can be a she, she can be a he, you know how we rock it. But once again, feminine, it's best for you to take initiative so you can at least get it cracking. It's like two square. You just <laughs> boop. <Ooh. laughs> Let's play. <laughs> so, coming to the situation, feminine, you've got awareness. Ace of Wands. This is some awareness. New knowledge, new insight, new perspectives. But it's also an action, though. Wands are actions, behaviors. You know. This is your first step. Towards what? Your first step towards five of wands. Dealing with a little bit of outside conflict. Now, <clears throat> five of wands. It's outside conflict. Shit that really doesn't involve you unless it does. Okay, it's a shooting across the street with some casualties. Okay, now your people's got hit. Your kids got hit. It's outside conflict. It's not involving you. Yes, it's your community. But that don't involve you. You don't know what the fuck they had going on over there. That's that's think about these things. <laughs> you know what the fuck they got going on. So if that happened. Your kids seen the whole thing. And they're scared for their life because snitches get stitches around here. Then that outside conflict does involve you. In the melee of the gun busted, your motherfucking car gets sprayed up or ran into by some imbecile. The shit they had going on had nothing to do with you. Them, the actions, actions of hitting your shit. Getting your shooting your car up. Like once those actions happen, for every action is a reaction. You know, it's a consequence to everything. It's called A for accountability. Once shit involves you, like once shit, it's like a, a car hits you. Boom, immediately, immediately you want to take action. Okay, you do not wanna fucking get in an accident and not get that motherfucking license in place. And not Get that license place, my dude. Like, it's hit and runs all day. Cops, any way you can. I don't know, man. Film their ass, man. Really get the situation on cam. These do what you can. Go live or something. Who knows? I don't know. Enemy, you know do what you can. You got to take action. It's like me on a train. I was on the train. I see a motherfucker. I'm super over thirsty, like. Smothering a lady, you know what I mean? Just all in her space, personal space, being disrespectful. I'm a full alert, nigga. Uh, hey, do we got a problem over here, cuz? <laughs> got a problem over here, bro? Like, uh, you know? Shit, move around with that, bro. Disperse, you know what I mean? Action. You gotta take action when you get involved in outside conflict. And it's best for you to take action first, feminine, before. You would have fucked up. Happened with me. I was driving around, no insurance and shit. I'm about to go pick up my fucking twin. Pick this dude up from the motherfucking uh, train station. And on my way pulling out, he's getting in, I would say, one minute of him getting in my car. I pull out, boom. Looked at the nigga hit me, too. He was going slow as fuck trying to sneak by. And I had an old car. He had a new car. I fucked his shit up. My shit was cool. Just had a little scratch on there. And I didn't get the nigga information. But the way he was looking, I think he was moving some work or doing something. He was a foreign nigga. He wasn't even from here. And he was driving an uh, Audi. And uh, he was like, look, this is Municipal East Station at 5. I'm like, all right, bet. Fuck it. I get there. He just happened to be there first. And he told a story before mine. And boom. Mm -hmm. Five racks later, it's like shit. You know? I should have been on that. I should have went to the motherfucking police station first. I should have took time to, you know, get on that. I should have took the first step, the first action, that type of energy. Get to it first. Snitch first. Do what the fuck you need to do to cover your ass. A for ass. You know what I mean? For somebody else, throw you under the bus. You know what I mean? Get, get that ace of wands plus that five of wands. That, that, that six of wands. That win. Get that win. Moving on. Uh, masculine, you're in the world doing what the fuck you want out here? 
in these streets. Nine of Wands, you in the world heard what you heard about, cuz. Nine of Wands, a dream comes Nine of Cups, excuse me, a dream come true. You over here sick about a dream come true. I'm telling you, that's so masculine. That's such masculine energy right there. Your fucking dream coming true. And you hurt in the world. You ain't hurting Zion. You ain't hurting the fourth or fifth dimension. You ain't hurting your dreams and visions and your other dimensions where you be loving your twin and shit. Like real shit, I get a feeling most twins, and most your masculines, are out here fucking with you in the fourth and fifth dimension. I mean, they're tapping into this cosmic energy here, this divine energy here. And like I say, y'all the same, but different. So he's going about it just a little different than you, right? This is like my twin communicating with me in the fourth and fifth dimension. See if I if I can hear him, or understand some shit, or if I could even perceive that he will be even smart enough to do some shit like that, or capable to do some shit like that. The nigga told me out of his mouth he got powers. You know what I mean? He throws a little slick shit here and there, you know. But in this case, it's like in a worldly view. He hurt because he's, he feels he's beaten in a good way. It's like you're the victor. You wore his ass down. He's finally giving in, like just giving you your props. It's like you running for mayor, you running for fucking president, you win. This is your friend until you won the president election. Now your friend don't want to talk to you no more because they a little hurt. It's a dream come true, you're a fucking president, because it'd be the same thing with them. You're their fucking friend. So if they got elected president, you would still be their friend. Here they are acting goofy, trying to not be your friend with y'all bodies, because some good shit happened to you, or dream come true happened to you, you know what I'm saying? Or this is the energy of your masculine is all sick and salty because they see somebody with the same, like, they see they see a dream come true that's theirs happen to somebody else. And they feel the same type of way. Either one. Either one. It's good energy, and it's ugly energy, ain't nothing bad about it. It's the Nine of Cups part. Even if somebody else got what you want, that's what you want, right? I agree. At least you know what you want. <laughs> At you know what you want. Moving on. Feminine, you in regards to your damn self. You got the Knight of Cups, the Romeo card, but in your case, it's Juliet. Now, are you Juliet or are you Jules out here? Jules is a more mature Juliet. Yeah, I mean, Jules handles business out here. Juliet, be out here. She be out here. Three of Cups, yeah, you Juliet, cuz. <laughs> you Juliet, cuz. Look. Night of, um, it's the Romeo and Juliet story. Three of Cups, distractions, mixed with the Julie, Juliet card, i.e. the Romeo card. It's like the Romeo and Juliet story. I say it all the time. It's a beautiful motherfucking story. However, it's tragic. It's tragic because these two were young and in love. And they wasn't focused. They were not on one accord. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. They were not on one accord. They were on one accord, then this shit would have been handled with a more mature approach. But they were kids. Obviously they were kids by the tragedy. Juvenile energy. You do not want to act like no princess or no prince out here. You need to be a king or a queen out here. And if you ain't elevated, then stay in your lane. It's like, you don't want to be grown. You get the kids table and shit, but you try to go to the adult table and talk to the adults, and they end up shitting on your ass because you ain't an adult. Or you can't relate to what the fuck they saying. Or you just... Once again, too young to be at the grown folk table. Get your ass in the back with the little kids and shit. Stay in your place. If you a kid, stay in the kid's place. If you a kid trying to put on bigger britches that you ain't got, you're going to fuck yourself up. You know what I mean? You're going to fuck yourself up. So, since it's all cups, this is emos, you being in your feels and shit, feminine. Listen. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo and Juliet is a good story, but they died tragically because they wasn't on one accord. They weren't mature about the decisions that they made, and it led to both their downfalls. It ain't like one of them. One of them is alive to tell the tale on some Titanic shit. You know what I mean? 
Like, Lady was all Jack died, but she was still alive to tell a story and shit. Like, that's that's what's up. It was a temporary demonstration, probably like this one is, but at least one lives on. But you both die in this tragedy? It's tragic. <laughs> I mean, both of y'all was goofy. Both of y'all was not, like, y'all not grown-ups. Y'all try to do in a grown-up situation and end up going out like little-ass kids. That's not the way to go. You want to be Jewels, Jules, not Juliet. All right, for a minute. Moving on. <clears throat> Masculine in regards to you, we got the King of Swords. This is a God smack. He's going to get a God smack in regards to you. Maybe some divine intervention. Maybe shooken up a little bit. Maybe, like I said, just divine intervention. Touched by God. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Yes, God is going to come in. And reach in your masculine's motherfucking heart center and pull out whatever it was that they was holding on to. They was holding on to some shit. Once again, this is who they really are inside, waiting to come out. This is the person that comes out when you come around, feminine person that they suppressed. Once again, it goes back to my masculine, man. Like I say, he, he looks just like love is a weak trait. So we get you killed out here. So, you know, you walking around. He said that shit to me a few times, you know what I'm saying? You walking around smiling, you know what I mean? It's only gonna like, uh, oh, what's that? It's like you walking around smiling, you feel me? Lollygagging in the streets, too. Like, we in Chicago, you know what I mean? Me walking around all geeky. <laughs> You know, smiling from ear to ear, feeling like I ain't got a care in the world, in the roughest neighborhood in the world, you're going to get your ass roughed up. You look like a, a sugar sweet lick that's about to get tasted, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, give me one second. I see this car running around my lot. just want to make sure I ain't no superiors on it. Uh -huh. yeah, it's a drive by. <laughs> Superiors be doing drive by this shit. I guess they be looking to see if we in here. Any anyway, rate, <clears throat> been here all day. Moving on. When it comes to the feminine, masculine, guys are gonna dig in here, pull something out you've had in here, and you're gonna be forced to deal with that shit. You know, you fight in love, this is love winning. You ducking responsibilities like a whack ass baby daddy and shit. This is you finally forced to deal with your demonstration. Like I say, God got the final word at the end of the day. You might not like your baby mama, and the baby mama might be mad she can't be with the baby daddy no more. But guess what? God finna set it up some type of way around this bitch. If y'all can't handle your own business, best believe God gonna handle that shit. Y'all got kids. Two adults came together. Okay, did some shit and created another person who's going to be an adult too pretty soon. That's something y'all both got to deal with. It's called accountability here. You know what I'm saying? Actions. Everything, everything is accountable. All right? Like, what you ducking and hiding from masculine, from the feminine, because this shit, shit you ducking and hiding from is from the, it's from the feminine energy. It's like a nigga scared to embrace his feminine side. You just act extra hard. You can't just take part in this exercise right now. You can't just just hug this other guy right quick. Not on no gay shit. It's just, you know, two men hugging. What's wrong with that? You 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 that hard? You that masculine where you can't even hug another guy? Oh, you don't eat cupcakes or you can't eat a banana because it look like a dick or something? Like, what kind of shit is that? That's the ignorant shit I ever heard. It's almost like you're putting up a front or something. That's what these exercises are for, to, to, to peel that goofy-ass shit back from you. 
Moving on. <laughs> Feminine. You in regards to the masculine energy, we have a four of wands. Union, reunion, and recognition. Got to pick another card. But I want to see what direction this is going to go. <clears throat> Hopefully, best case scenario. Not the queen I was looking for, but queen nonetheless. <laughs> Those queen of wands is what I was hoping for. It have been a different story. All right, feminine. You're going to have to be Lucy Lou with the four of wands. Lucy Lou card, Queen of Wands. This is being 10 toes the fuck down on a mental decision that you're going to go. Ain't an uh, ultimatum. Ain't your way to highway. Fuck no. It is a well thought out mental decision. You are going to be 10 toes the fuck down on. You're going to stand on this shit. Not wobble, wobble. Shake it, shake it and shit. Like, nah, nigga. This, this goes for the whole air rant that I was giving to all the air signs in my astrology videos, which you can check out now. I'll have um, uh, Libras and the Earth signs done tomorrow night. Stay tuned for them shits. But look, fence hoppers, get the fuck off a of fence. Pick a side. When it's time to ride, pick a side. Fuck is you talking about? It's only one right way. All right? And it's people going the other way. So who you with? Who you rolling with? Both? Fuck out of here. Who does that? No, it's called accountability, nigga. It's, 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 hey, what's, what, who you rolling with? Who you with? It's time to ride, pick a side. What do you mean it's time to ride, nigga? <laughs> when calamity hits the earth, my dude, in the real face of what really runs this whole motherfucking globe here gets revealed, shit's gonna be a lot more real. You know how real it's gonna be? This real? I told you, four ones, that's Zion, that's the real world. Motherfuckers like me? Motherfuckers like us, we dwell here. It's real here. We fuck with the world, too. The world is out here. We fuck with the world, too. We live in the world. We in the Matrix and shit. But we also in Zion. We get unchanged from the world to heaven anytime we please. We're divine. We're free. We can move around like that. We're not just stuck in this Matrix with no type of clue what the fuck Zion is. Heaven is. Union is. You know what I mean? Divinity is. You feel me? Like, it's, it's, it's different. It's different. But you need to be 10 toes the fuck down on the direction you take it towards towards this four of wands here. If you want to get in the union, you need to start, you need to do something. Not what you've been doing, it ain't been working, obviously, huh? Okay, you need to do something. <clears throat> be 10 toes down on doing something. You want to get to your purpose, find your purpose, which is home. Home base, four of wands. Home base. Yeah, it's finding your purpose. And running with it. It's a home run right there. You know what I mean? Union, reunion, recognition. You want to get into it, you can get it. This is the prize. Four of Wands. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. That's why you need to be ten toes to fuck down on what direction you're going with towards the prize. That's what you want, right? That's what you've been grinding for, right? That's what you're watching this shit for, right? That's what you're doing this shit for, right? I right, get right there. Get right or get left. Oh, zee, nigga, let's go with it. Masculine, you in regards to yourself, you going without someone or something, or you're somewhere you don't want to be, and you asked out. Like chaps, nigga. <laughs> like leather chaps, nigga, you asked out. You know what I'm saying? And um, clarifying that asked outness, we got the three of swords here. This is pain. Why are you in pain? Why are you hurting and shit? Because you mentally, this is not physical pain, it's mental shit. Swords are mental thoughts, decisions, directions and shit. Yeah, you ain't hurting it. But you just you just mentally pained that you went. Past work. Went. Past the point of no return. You went past the point of no return. That's why you hurt. That's what the three of swords is. Ace of Swords, that's the right direction you need to go, knowing the right way you need to go. Two of Swords, that's pivoting over between the right way to go and the way you was at. Or backwards, or whatever the fuck everybody else doing, who gives a fuck? Okay, you know you can do what everybody else doing, just stay where you've been at, or you can go forward to a new direction. Don't go towards that new direction. That's all this is. 
<laughs> Three is all about evolution. Gotta get past the bullshit everybody else on. Yes, it's painting. You're in a whole new place. That's why you're five old pinnacles. You're going without a lot of shit. You're without your home. You're without your spouse. You're without your job. You're without your own life. You're without your juice. You're without your swag. You're without your mojo. Give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna find that shit. Because God always gives you everything you need to succeed, survive, and thrive in life. Yes. It's the energy I like seeing anyway, because you in a whole new fucking league. This is what happens when you step into the unknown, when you step into the infinite. Your feminine, the way you feeling now, all this mystery, and you don't know what the fuck gonna happen next, and you just giving in to, to, to the direction God's pulling you in and shit. Yeah, your feminine been here. she been here well before you. It's normal shit. You ain't the only one that went through this shit. You ain't the only one feeling how you feeling, fam. <laughs> it's part of the process. It's like you're moving in. It's like you're diving in, man. It's like you're diving in, and I like that shit. But you're in a little pain. Like I said, you're going to go without shit. But guess what? I'm going to speak another card. But guess what? Masculine. Knight of Wands. You wherever you need to be, baby. <laughs> Knight of Wands. You moving fast and fiercely in your divine direction. You're going the right way. You're going the right fucking way. You understand me? This shit was meant to happen. What you think you in this shit for? I told you, the Earth is like the Navy SEALs, man. We were put here to go through it. To make us better soul citizens. Don't that shit sound cold? Soul citizens, nigga. Soul citizens. It's bigger than Earth, nigga. It's the third rock from the sun. You know what I mean? Nigga, it's seven trillion. Seven trillion. Seven trillion inhabited planets out here. Which is one. We're special. And they're special too. I told you. Earth is just a speck of dust in the ocean, my nigga. That's how small we are. Alright? Scale, nigga. Get hit. Because it'll really put things in perspective for you. That's the difference between... I ain't even get to that. All right, um, you're gonna go without some shit, Mastin. Just, just thug it out, man. Put your skirt down, b. Shit, moving on to the future, though. Feminine, you're gonna, you're gonna get a little stressed going to the future. What the fuck are you stressed about over here? You're too blessed to be stressed, shorty. Me included. He the spores. You just taking a step back too. Monkey see, monkey do, huh? Yeah, you taking a step back. It's like you're stressed. Nine of swords. You're losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, losing weight, the wrong weight. This is stress. This is some shit you don't need. I told you in a rant that I gave last week, stress is an add-on. Stress is like hot sauce on your um, pizza. Ketchup on your fries. You know, something you add on. You know? It just so happens when you put ketchup on fries, it tastes good. But some things you add on ain't gonna taste good. But there's add-ons. You can choose not to be stressed. Choosing to be stressed is literally putting ketchup on your motherfucking french fry. You're choosing to put the ketchup on your french fry as sure as you're choosing to be stressed right now. Then you're taking a step back mentally. To the eight of swords. You take a step back to what? A self-imposed prison. In my book, eight of swords. It's a self-imposed prison. What is that? Fucked up ideologies. False sense of security. You insecure as fuck. So you need somebody to secure you. It works so you be doing it. Security blankets. I'm telling you. It's like you think you covered and you not. Yeah, I'll make sure you you still have your insurance. Like that's letting the motherfucker take your take care of your business for you, and you don't do it yourself. They're not gonna take care of you. You need to do it yourself so you you, you can take care of your motherfucking self. All right, you a whole fucking person. You can't depend on another person to do life shit for you. All right, it's not how this shit works. As a false sense of security, you thinking a person got your back? Look at how they did R. Kelly. <laughs> Any rate. This is also like going backwards. Like I say, you, you, you realize you was in a mental prison. 
You broke out that bitch. And now you went back to the gym. What, to look at it? What, to, to see if this is real or not? What, it felt more comfortable in that jail than it does out in the real world? On some institutionalized shit? You don't go backwards, you go forward. Going to your future, feminine, we don't go backwards, we go forward. Don't do anything that's going to set you back. Keep pushing forward. Masculine. You in the future. You got a Decepticon here. This is a secret right here. Ooh, floor of my hand, boy. Ha! <laughs> it's a secret right here. And it's going to come out. It's going to fly out the way this car flew out my hand. Secret. It's going to get revealed to you. What kind of secret? Why the top? Two of Wands. This is a secret at your job or the secret to how someone survives. I'm going to take it as a secret on how someone survives. We have Pentacles. It has a lot to do with the bridges you've been building. It's like Three of Pentacles. This is building a bridge. Business. You and a person building a company, building a business. Two of Wands. It's part of how you survive. How you put shoes on your feet, clothes on your back, food on your stomach, take care of your kids, how you eat. This deal you got with this Decepticon is how you function. So this is real bad right here. I told you before, you cannot let other people do your business for you. Somebody is going to fuck you over. You're just bending over and putting lube in your ass to get fucked. Letting somebody else handle your business. It's your business. What you thought was going to happen. Protect your neck. And your checks out here. Masculine. What you want to tell the uh, feminine in the fourth fifth dimension? King of Pentacles. This is the alchemist card. This is the magician card. This is manifesting whatever you want to manifest in the world. Clarifying that is you, divine feminine. Stop up my hand. My masculine is telling you you can manifest anything you want to. If you want me, you manifest me. If you got cold, this is like a dare. This is like a challenge. He's challenging you to do something more. Like I'm just saying, all last week, six pentacles get square, square biz with him. He's square with you. You're just gonna have to try, try. He wants you to burn on all cylinders, get on your queen of wands shit. What's a, what are wands? Actions, behavior, decisions, and shit. From the fourth and fifth dimension, your masculine is challenging you to do something other than what you've been doing to do him. <laughs> But to get to him, that's what I'm hearing. Like, real shit. It's like me, right? I, like I say, seven months. I've been like, calling my 20, he'll pick up. I'll send a text, he'll read the shit, but don't, don't respond back. It should be going on for about seven months. Even though six months of that time, I've been gone. Like I said, I've been on the West Coast doing my thug, taking my jig, I'm back home. And uh, it's like, that shit ain't been working. So, I mean, obviously, it's something I gotta do. Something else I gotta do. I do it another way. Maybe I gotta get personal. Maybe pop up on this nigga or something like that. You know what I mean? Something I'm trying not to do because I'm thinking me doing that is bad. But who knows, man? It just seems like a game he's playing. And he's geeked about you playing this game. Like I say, it's Jumanji. This game, this two flying shit is Jumanji. At first, feminine, you was playing it and your masculine didn't want to play it. Because this is Jumanji. Who the fuck, you can almost die. It's hard completing this fucking game. This ain't no regular ass game, nigga. This is a mystical game, nigga. This is Jumanji. And you gotta finish the game. Because if you don't finish the game, what already got dispersed is gonna stay out here. That's K for karma. Your masculine got the Jumanji game out and he wants you to play. But he wants you to get just as enthused as he is. Feminine, what you got to say? I know you got to say something. Ace of Cups. You telling him, I'm taking care of myself right now and I ain't got no time to be playing games. 
I'm loving myself right now, so I ain't got no time to be playing no mother-loving games out here. You're also saying four swords. You're also not saying anything. You're in your fucking head about what the fuck I just said. Because deep down, you know you need to be doing that and finalize that three of wands. It's your purpose to do so. <laughs> it's your purpose to do so. I told you, three of wands. What is that? Yes, your role, divine feminine. You have to take the lead. It's like your masculine knows that. That's why he's waiting on you. Take the lead. You need to do something different than what you've been doing to get what you're doing. It's about that time. Make sure you make that happen. Final word, final rule, final word around here, final message, ten of swords, death. It's going to be a permanent ending. You got to end things to begin things, right? Yeah. It's going to be a permanent ending for happiness. <laughs> Just told you, you got to end things, ten of swords. It's a permanent ending. To begin things, ten of cups, that's happiness. Emotional, emotional fulfillment. A step after the nine of cups, it's the wish granted. Dreams come true. You gotta end things to begin things. Y'all know what y'all need to put down. Y'all know what y'all need to start doing. Make sure y'all do it. That's my message. Hope I can be of good use. It's your boy D Boom. Stay tuned.